All right, No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today I'm having to sit down with somebody who, you're the only rapper who could cause me to take a break from the future album that I've been listening to over and over for the past few weeks. This is one of my favorite rappers coming out of Philly. I feel like this is one of the rawest rappers I ever heard, and you funny as hell. I've only been around you for a couple minutes. I feel like we've known each other for a long time already. Yeah. Skrilla is in this yeah, it's me. What's going on? Hey, yo, but who the who the who the f person you gotta take a break from though? Listen to me, Future. Future. I got you know that Future and Metro Boomin album. That's Big Bro. That's Big Bro. That's I mean, I really bro. brought me back into like my Future fandom. That's Big Bro. That's Big Bro. Future. That's my dog. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I had to take a break to listen to the the moody Skrilla instrumentals that you just be going crazy on. So what, you just going to be hitting that every couple seconds for the entirety of this pod? Yeah, you think that's going to pod up? I mean, I feel like it's going to be a, a nightmare for the editors if they have to edit right, it out look, look, every I'm time. I'm going to just take my one big whip it though, so I'm going to just pick my one big puff and it's going to be all right. All right, we good. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Damn. No, you want to know what? That is insane that it just does it to your voice. But uh, did you see this girl? It's this girl I know, and she might u lose use of her legs. Yeah. Due to the nitrous. She'd be ballooned out on her on her Instagram all the time. Yeah. So Damn. it gets real out here. Also, That's I can crazy. introduce you to Steve-O, and he'll tell you to leave that shit alone, too. That's crazy. I just was looking at the though, and I'm just like, oh, she's yeah. I'm like, I'm going to talk to her. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to try to talk to her just because the way she looked, though, just so people talk about me. But, damn, that's crazy. Her leg missing. Yeah. That make it even better if I talk to her now because they're going to be like, he talking to a bitch with no legs. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, because I feel like you probably f a bunch of chicks with no legs, right? Wait. <laughs> I feel like you f a lot of chicks with no legs. Or at least, Never. like, some stumps and shit, bro. Because, nah. okay, I've been on my Kensington YouTube binge. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A lot of people talk about how where they're from is fucked up. Yeah, I, I, you you got the crown. Like I think you you take it. Yeah, no, that place is fucking grimy. Yeah, yeah, that shit really. Yeah, that shit that yeah, I never seen nothing like it. Even when I go to other places, to other, I just start traveling though, bro. But when I go to other places, bro, and I be asking people like like what that shit look like down there, they be like, bro, nothing like down down. Like, really? Yeah, though, like that shit. Up, down have there. you seen it get a lot worse since you were a kid? And have you always been in like the same area your whole life? No, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I've been down there since I was a kid. Okay. But every time I go, every time, every time, I forgot what I was about to say. Just about Kensington and how. Oh yeah, up it is. look. Oh yeah, like they they try to clean it up. They try to clean it up every every two three years. They try to do their hardest to clean it up, and then it gets clean for like two three months, and then it's right back to the same thing. Like really? right back every time. Mm -hmm. Like right now, the mayor just was out there yesterday. Really? The mayor down there yesterday, literally yes, literally the day today. The mayor down the mayor was down there this morning, and looking for everybody trying to clean it up, and she got all the cops following her trying to get everybody. Right, I just shot a big ass blog uh, down there, down there yesterday and shit. Oh, okay. And I had posted a pickup with my gun down there the day before, and I had the same clothes on that I had on the next day. And the cops, like fifty cops, ran up to me. It was like, "Yo, where's your gun at? Where's your gun at?" Really? I just put that in the car. He <laughs> just missed me. I just put that in the car. The, the gun laws are pretty strict in Philly. It's, it's like New York and shit. No, nah, no, that no. Crazy? yeah, no, they don't give. We all, that's just what we do. Okay. That's what we do. But you've seen Kensington itself, like, transform over the years and become drastically worse? Yeah, like, yeah. It, it just keeps getting worse and worse, worse and worse, worse and worse, worse and worse. It ain't never been, yeah, it, just, it ain't never been better than how it was before. It just gets worse and worse and worse. And people travel from, like, there's people out there that's from L.A. and all that. Like, people, you know how people are dope fiends and they de dope fiends in different parts of the areas of the world. Uh -huh. And, you know, sometimes they come to a moment where they're not able to get what they want. And they go on YouTube and literally search, where can I get, da -da -da, how do I, da -da -da, where can I get my fix from? Because, well, you know, what if they got up. some product where they're from, but they just want to sample like a different high? Because it's probably like a little different in like every part of the country, right? Yeah, they just, a lot of people, bro, 
sixty percent, seventy percent of the people, the fiends is down there. I don't call them fiends though, but just so they would understand though, like they actually right. are my friends and shit like that though. But seventy percent of the people that's down there though, they're all from different parts of the area, bro. Really? They literally travel down there just to make sure they don't get sick. And sometimes they end up moving down there and not never leaving because they just want to stay next to what they want. Right. So that shit is crazy. And you though. feel like Kensington's way gnarlier than the rest of Philly? Like did the do the cops like kinda herd the people there or is it just the cops don't give a f- about shit though. They don't give a f- about shit. Like like they don't give a f- about shit like at all like when I just when I just had my gun out there before they even all jumped up on me I just had my gun out there the day before that and the cop literally seen my gun I hope they don't try to f- me extra now though but the cops literally seen my gun on my waist a biker cop and he rode by me he was like I hope you got your gun license and I just laughed at him he just <laughs> kept it pushing like, are you serious yeah he don't give a f- at all. But it wasn't like that when you were younger, right? Like, I feel like law and order was a lot bigger when we were younger, and now it's kind of like falling off a cliff. No, hell yeah. It was like that when I was younger, but the fiends aren't, weren't the fiends that the, they are now, though. Right. Like, they were actually, like, clean. Like, they were, like, actually workers and driving nice cars. And, like, back in the day, like, we were, like, fiends would pull up. Like well, not I don't, I'm gonna just say fiends just for the video. We call them Jays. Yeah, just Jays. We're gonna Jays, call them Jays. Yeah. We're gonna call them Jays. The Jays back then they'd be pulling up in Benzes, Audi, fresh, nice ass, fresh cars, and when they wouldn't have the money or whatever, we would actually rent the cars off of them and give them a bundle, and we'll have the car for the whole day or two days. <laughs> and most of the time, we just keep it and never give it back to them. Right. And that's it. But now, nobody has a car. Like, this shit is f***ed up now. Everybody's money this is shit just f- on the up, drugs, yeah, like, right away. F***ed up bad. Because I've been watching this documentary about these homeless people in New York back in the 70s or 80s or some shit who are, like, living in these tunnels under the subways and shit. And... They are so much more like normal people than a lot of the homeless people you see now who are like really tweaked out with hella scabs all over their faces and shit like that. Like some of these people are probably like crackheads, but they weren't on the level that motherfuckers are on now. They they probably at the same level. It's just that the drugs that is down Kensington is just way different. Like it's this new thing called alligator or crocodile tranquilizer. And that's that's the shit that's like taken over. I was watching yeah. that in uh, yeah. Brandon Buckingham's yeah. well, video. What already about did it. take over? Now they doing the now they doing a new tranquilizer called Elephant Tranquilizer. Xylazine. Xylazine. Yeah. 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 That's the Elephant Tranquilizer. Really. So, but before, well, it's still out though. But the crocodile, the crocodile tranquilizer is a, is 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 not supposed to go inside of our skin, of a side of a human person's skin. Mm. That's for crocodiles. Their f- skin is like. F- the rocks right so when they shoot the crocodile tranquilizer up it eats out of their skin mm. and when it eats out of their skin it just keeps spreads and spreading and spreading i could you want me sh- i could show you this video or somebody i could show you like this one video sure. bro this shit is crazy bro. it makes me wonder if it's the same shit when i went to russia like 10 years ago everybody was talking about how there was this crazy ass drug called crocodile and it was like everybody was just insanely up on it out there and I wonder if it's related to this. Yeah, the tranquilizer just really just put you right to sleep, though. Like, that tranquilizer is made to just put you out, put you to sleep. Yeah, I saw people saying that, like, you kind of need the fentanyl with the tranquilizer because yeah, yeah, it's, like, do. a different high. For sure, for sure. You need that bit for sure. You, you ain't good. Yeah, that's the whole point. Right. Yeah, and the tranquilizer, that shit keep them sleep for a long time, so they don't got to hurry up and try to make the money to buy the next shot, though. Like, they're asleep for a good amount of time. Mm. So by the time they wake up, now they're ready to get their new shot, and bang, now they back to noon, they sleep. The whole, they, they damn near sleep the whole day, for real, for real. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. Shit is out of control. Um. So, wait, like, okay, what was your upbringing like? Like, you were coming up in this crazy-ass area, but what was life like as a kid? Um, I'm going to show you the video yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. though. I'm going to show you the video. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you, say it again. Just being a kid, like, growing up in this sort of area, like, did you have crazy memories of what yeah. shit was like? That shit was fun. That shit was fun, bro. I enjoyed myself growing up, bro. I had the ball. I had the best time of my life when I was young. Because then when we were young, it, 
Everybody was trapping with my age. There was t- 13, 12, 13, 14, 15. Everybody was young. And it was way more money back then. Mm. It was way more money. And back then we were selling dimes. It wasn't Nicks anymore. It was dimes. So selling drugs was just like automatic from what age? Yeah. Like once you jump off the porch, once you come outside down Kensington, like once you once your parents let you go outside, even if you get some a second to go outside, if your mom if you tell your mom like yo I'm about to go to the park, if you're going outside you're going to trap. Really? Yeah. And by the time you go in, you go in with some money. But what were your parents on? They were they were normal yeah, like, people. I, yeah. Like I got I got I got I got a I got a real good dad and a real good mom. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't even know that though, bro. But I got a real good and I got a real good. Yeah. My mom. My mom. My mom is actually Mexican. Oh really? My mom straight Mexican and my pop black, but. Um, they went to college and everything. That's how they met. Okay, and everything. My mom from Texas. My pop from Philadelphia. My mom went to um, Philly just to go with my dad. And did and they warn you a lot about like the environment that you were born in? Like, did, were they always trying to put you on game so that you didn't get into crazy situations? My, fa- my father. My father was really on my ass. My father wanted. I played sports. Hmm. I played every sport you could think of. My pop made sure I played. I was really good at basketball. So my pop made sure that I really. I played basketball. I played basketball. I played AAU. I didn't travel around the world playing basketball when I was younger. Oh, wow. Yeah, every trophy I ever got is an MVP trophy. Like, I was really good in basketball. But somehow, though, like, the streets just got to me, though, at an early age. Really? Yeah. Why, why do you think that was? Because mm, you were balancing selling drugs and basketball at one point? No, no, no. I just gave it up. Oh, okay. I just gave it up. But um, having not one, one, one the shit, not having the shit that I wanted. Mm. Not having the shit that I wanted, the shit I really wanted though. Like, and I knew how I could get it though, and that's just, you know what I mean? Right. You feel me? But so, did your parents like really try to rein you in when you were starting to get in trouble and shit, or were they powerless? Yeah, that shit wasn't, they, it, it wasn't nothing that they could do. Like, that shit just was what it was. That was what it was. Yeah, that's just what it was. That's just what I was on. That's just mm. what I was on. Definitely. Um, what was music always part of your life too? N- um, me rapping? No, nah, just like was it the soundtrack to your childhood and shit? When you think about your childhood, what were you listening to? Uh, as a kid, 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 like when Meek, I li- I used to listen to Meek. Mm-hmm. Like when Meek was really like coming up and all that shit though. Like when he was younger as a kid, uh. I listened to Meek. Everybody from Philly listen to me, but like when I start really like getting into my um something like into the music that I really really like, um my go to would be Future, Thug, Future, Thug, um damn who my yeah oh Kodak Kodak I'm tripping what the Kodak that's my favorite artist mm. Kodak is my favorite artist on huh? the goats yeah that's my dog Kodak. Kodak, that's my favorite artist of all times, though. Really? Wow. Yeah. I don't think anybody better than Kodak. Why would you say that? Just every, uh, just what he talk about and everything about him, though. Like, he authentic, though. Mm-hmm. Like, he ain't nothing, no cap. He ain't got no cap in him. Like, he ain't got, he ain't sugar coat and nothing. He a gangster. He's like the ultimate dude who became this famous rapper and doesn't really seem like he's changed. If yeah. anything, he just kind of became like a more extreme version of what he already was. Yeah, yeah. I f- with that. That's my dog. I f- with that. Mm. Oh, yeah, but Kodak Future, uh, Thug, and um, damn, let me give you one more though. Let me give you one more. But currently though, like, in, like for the last couple years, I f- all I run. Oh really? All I run. Been locked up the last few yeah, years too, right? Yeah, that's really one of my favorite. Right? I interviewed him back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, all I run. And who else? One more. Sosa. Oh yeah, Chief Keef, of course. Sosa. Yeah, Chief Keef. Yeah, of course. Sosa. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, but did you always think that maybe you were gonna try rapping or when did that become a thing? Um No, I never no, I never thought I would have been a rapper, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh you ever heard you ever heard of Rico Havoc? No. Nah. He an artist though from Philadelphia though, though. Like he blew up though real fast. So like after Meek and Uzi and all that, he was probably kind of like the next, though. He just fell off, though. Mm. He just, like, not, I'm not going to say he fell off, though. He just took a break and got too comfortable, though. And 
you know how shit, you know how the rap shit go. You know everybody rapping, so it's always a substitution. And it's hard but, to sustain being like a lit yeah, street rapper. Yeah, like some yeah. some people can do it, but it's difficult. Yeah, so he that was my bro. That's like my brother. Like we actually grew up together. Our home run when I was a kid, we actually grew up together. He's one of the biggest artists in Philly, and. I, out of nowhere, I'm just like, man, let me just try to rap. Let me just give it a try. I started, I started, I took, I went to the studio, made my first song, and the engineer that I was paying to record me, he was like, bro, I don't even want you to, I don't want your money, bro. I want you to finish making this song, bro. Mm. And he was like, bro, I don't want, uh, you don't got to pay me for no time. I was young too. He said, like, I don't want you to, I, he like, just make this song for me, bro. And I finished the song. It was a song called Dog Food, Skrill of Dog Food. That's probably one of my best songs I ever dropped ever in my life. Then that was my first song. So from day one, rapping yeah. about heroin. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I come from, though, bro. Right. Like, that's all I know. That's where I come from. Look, I got dope tatted on my face. Dog food tatted on my face. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got dog food tatted on my hand and everything. Oh, f Yeah, good. dog food. <laughs> that's hard. Dog um, food. But, I mean, that's kind of funny just because, like, you're so obviously authentically from that shit. But heroin and like selling coke and all this shit is like one of the most lied about things in the history of rap right like yeah. that's the one thing that so many rappers talk about and you know that they never did it yeah. so it's kind of weird for you because it's like it's so believable from you because i know what area you come from and also like seeing the videos and how comfortable you are around all these smokers and shit yeah. it's just kind of it, it, like what is that like to see this being something that so many people just like lie about <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even pay attention to nobody else, though, bro. I don't know. I don't even know. I answer for that shit, though. I don't really pay attention to other artists. I don't really listen to other music, for real, for real. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you consider yourself a Philly drill rapper? I don't know. Drill's foreign. That's not, that's not what... But do you even talk about that shit when it comes to Philly, or is it you're just outside of it? Yeah, what you saying? I'm outside of the drill rap shit. Yeah, because like, that shit exists, but you don't consider yourself to be yeah, part of that. No, nah, I, I want to consider myself to be a part of it, though, but I'm around it, though. Like, I'm in it, though. Like, I'm in this shit, too. Like, I'm not. I just don't talk about it, though. I'm in this shit and everything, too, though. But um, my man, my man, the drill rapper, though, my man, you ever heard of YBC Do? You told me you didn't. YBC Do. Okay, but that's yeah. that's where you're from, right? Yeah. YBC? Yeah. No, 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 no. Nah. Hell no, I'm I not. I got from, that written down, don't I? No, I'm not from YBC. Oh, okay. Were you no, at one point? No, that's what they gang member. That's what they gang. Nah, I ain't gonna say oh, it's that's a like gang. A real gang. No, okay. no, I ain't gonna say it's a gang though, cause I, cause I ain't gonna say it's a gang though, cause we got uh, like you know what I'm saying. The cops is all on my. It's not a gang. It's just a rap group though. Just like how they, just YSL. like how they uh doing that shit with YSL. Yeah. That's you know what I'm saying. I'm the same type of thing. Yeah. Group of rappers and like people that hang yeah, out and then they shit. try to, you know, one person does something, they try to put that on the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, type shit, type shit. They be doing all the gang enhancements out there and shit. People getting insane yeah. sentences for. Yeah, they, they got them on the news and all that shit talking about some. If you were part of. Da -da 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 -da, oh, yeah. You're going to jail. Da -da -da. That was that clip yeah. that so many people seen. And, yeah. and the narrative was like Philly's out of control. They're yeah. really trying to rein it yep. in now. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I felt like you were already good. <laughs> oh my god. Chase it. What the fuck, dude? Is this a is this a regular day or are you on Cali time? This is regular? Every day, bro. I get geeked up, bro. You ever heard my song Geeked Up? Yeah. I know some of the vlogs and shit of you like just being in your neighborhood and shit are it's almost kind of scary what looks like is going on with your eyes. Like, you just look like you're on another f planet, dude. Yeah, no, but I'm definitely still in another. I'm I'm, I'm on another planet, but I'm in your planet, too. You hear? <laughs> I see what's going on. You around planet. with Earth? With what? Earth. With Earth. Earth's cool. I, I pop out here and there, though, <laughs> just to come check y'all out, though. But yeah, all right, though. Yeah, all right, though. Yeah, all right. <laughs> when did you start getting up and like what what is that like when you're around all these people that are fucked up but then you're just doing slightly different versions of it right uh well like more of it yeah oh well, i don't know i mean the the perks i think you know chemically yeah. are not that different from a lot of the shit that the, the um, local jays are on right mm, mm -mm. say it again so one more time well like 
you're taking perks yeah. and all this, I assume, other shit. It's not that different chemically from the shit that all the, the J's are on, right? It's the same thing. Right. It's the same thing. Perks and heroin is the same thing. Like, uh, uh, fentanyl is the same thing. Like, no, I'm not taking perk fentanyl, though. No, like, like no press perks, but that shit damn near is the same thing. Like that's the next level of perks, though. Like mm -hmm. fentanyl is the next level. Like, right. Like when you choose to stop taking perks and you can't get us some shit, fentanyl is your next option. But I ain't going out like that. But though. a ton of people say I take perks, but what they're really talking about is the fentanyl thirties, right? <laughs> some people take the fentanyl thirties. I ain't on that though, though. I ain't on that though. You I avoid get, those. You can yeah. spot them. Yeah, I know my shit, bro. I've been doing this shit for a long time, bro. Uh huh. I've been doing this shit for a long time. I know my shit. How'd you get into doing drugs in general, though? Was that from a young age? Yeah, I've been I've been getting kicked off for a long time, bro. Motherfuckers, I don't even understand how motherfuckers be losing their mind off this shit, bro. Like, you think I lost my mind? Something happened. So you think I got all my marbles, though? <laughs> no, gangster, well, though, gangster. But it's hard to tell because I feel like as an artist and a rapper, this whole, like, image and persona and shit is fire. But as a person that I feel like we're friends now, it worries me a little, yeah. Yeah. But you think I don't got all my marbles, though? I mean, you might seem like you might be kind of on the cusp. <laughs> like you might have a few marbles left. <laughs> See, they're gonna kill me though for like having a laugh about somebody who's doing as much drugs as you seem nah. to be doing. Hey yo, but uh, no, nah, that shit normal though. Like hang around, when I hang around, no, that shit normal though. Like I've been around that shit all my life, bro. I've been around that shit all my life, bro. I've been hanging around with with, with the J's all my life, bro. Like that's just. Like, damn, I'm a J2. Mm. You know? But you have a different relationship with them, right? Because it seems like a lot of people would just ignore them or never want to be on camera with them or whatever. But you seem, like, super comfortable in that environment. Yeah, no, they actually are my friends, bro. They actually watch me grow up. It's crazy. Fucked up. The whole fuck, fucked up thing is, I, uh, since I've been trapping since I was a young boy, since I was trapping 12, 13, 14, I actually watch. They actually watched me grow up. Like mm. I've been serving eighty percent of them, though, since I was a kid, and now I'm just a little bit older, and they see me and they hype to see me. I actually, they actually watch me grow up, bro. Mm. They actually watch you grow up, literally, though, bro. Literally, they actually see me every single day, every single day. Now it's just I pop out here and there. And Do you I'm look here. down on them? I don't know. You feel like you're. On the same level to a certain extent. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm on the same level, but I feel like, like you sympathize and empathize yeah, like, with where they're at. They're, yeah, like they're my friends, bro. Mm. They're my friends, bro. I actually like really grew with them. They, I actually have real relationships with them. I have old stories with them. Like I'm really like that shit. I don't know. You gotta come down. I gotta bring you to Kensington one day, bro. I'm down. I'm like I'm like really like a fucking. I'm the face of zombie land. <laughs> you you definitely are. I remember I used to be in Philly all the time in like 2007, 2008. And it's like the version of Philly I remember. And then when I see what it looks like in a lot of your vlogs and videos and shit, I'm just like, holy fuck. This is like what Philly used to be like times 10. Kensington always been fucked up, though, bro. Mm. A lot of people that go to Phil a lot of people that go visit Philly. Kensington is like a no go zone, bro. Mm. Like. People don't go down there. I like guess uh, most of the people that's from Philly never even been down Kensington. Mm. Crazy thing, though, know, it's like nothing for you down there unless you're going to get drugs or you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. I was seeing a vlog where one of the community activist type dudes he was saying that it's literally the most dangerous place in America or the most fucked up place in America right now. Yeah, you can say both. It's fucked up and dangerous. Yeah, you can say that. You can say you can say that. Really? Yeah, you can say that for sure. So now that you're popping, though, do you kind of keep your distance, or are you still around like all the time? I don't even feel like I'm popping right now. Really? Yeah, I, I feel like I ain't even reached where I'm supposed to reach at all. Like I feel like I'm like fucking twenty percent where I'm supposed to be right now. Mm. Not even. I'm probably like just now about like you just made me hit my twenty percent mark. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I feel like you're at the level where like 
all the time now I'm like talking to people about you and like different people that I know even out here are starting to be like, Hey, you heard of him? Like check this yeah. shit out, check this video out. And yeah. like the, the dudes I know who really be listening to like what's going on in rap, they, yeah. they're like definitely getting put on on like a very consistent basis right now. Yeah. No, my shit definitely going up right now though. And a lot of people knowing about me, bro. And I got a hard time. Like I got a, I got a real hard time being in contact, I got a hard time communicating. Really? Yeah. I don't know what it is. That's just something about me though, bro. I got a hard time communicating. I don't I don't I don't use my resources and I don't communicate. Like I, I could really actually like you might hit me up on Instagram, bro. I just don't communicate good, bro. I just don't I don't know how to explain it though. Mm. Like, I just got a hard time communicating. You just kinda antisocial or you could you could call it that though, but I don't even know what it is though. You mean like the the shit that you're kind of like expected to do as a rapper, like in terms of doing yeah, like social get, shit, going out to events, popping in, networking with other rappers, yeah, media companies, etc. Yeah, I got a hard time doing that shit mentally. Mentally, I just don't do. It. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why I don't do it though? Mm. But I got people that be checking me though, and I be like, damn, I gotta start doing that shit though. Are you like a, a lab rat when it comes to the music? Or are you just always recording and shit? Yeah, all day, every really? day, every day. I just took a little break though for like two months though because like that shit was getting a hold of me though. Like, mm. cause I can't make music without getting fried. Really? Yeah, like that. Every song I ever made, I was fried literally, and I got thousands of songs. Literally, I got literally a thousand songs, bro. A thousand, a thousand. I got a thousand songs. So literally. you can't imagine making music without I being can't. fucked up. I tried it already. I can't. Really? It just I doesn't can't. work? It just won't come out. I, I just can't rap. Damn. It's literally. always been like that or it slowly got like that over time? It always been like that. Really? It always been like that. So how does that make you feel about music? Like maybe you need to step back from music to get your yeah, health yeah, right? Yeah, that's why I took, yeah, that's, but I still do it without going to the studio, but I took a two month break just so I could like, kind of like get my head together and like tighten up a little bit though, bro. But that is the fucked up thing about that shit though. I feel like I can't make music unless I'm fried. Do you feel like the more fucked up you get, the better the music hell gets? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. Damn, that's got to be a yeah. crazy spot to be kind of yeah. stuck in. I know for sure, like, when I take certain type of drugs, it's like the cheek, is it give me cheat codes. Really? Like, like, oh, shit, he ain't fucking with that shit. No, he's got <laughs> an attitude problem, this fucking dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I fucking, like, like, if I take, I take, I take a fucking, I ain't trying to get it, I ain't trying to give everybody a, G, a cheat code, but if I take, you ever heard of a G6? Oh, uh, yeah. I take a G6, bro. And fucking, like I got a whole, a whole bunch of them in my pocket right now. Let's see it. Oh, shit, okay. G6s, G6s. They glow in the dark and everything. Wow. It's a G6. If I take that shit, bro, and I go to the studio, bro, I be saying shit that I ain't even know I knew, though, bro. Like, that shit crazy. Word. Like, I be saying shit like, like, I say a word, like, just say a word. Just give me a smart word. Uh... Poodle. Yeah, like I'll see my poodle in the kitchen. And then I look it on Google and I ain't even know what poodle mean. And I'll be like, damn, I said the right shit. Like, what the fuck? Them G6 made me smart as shit. Yeah. Oh, what? So are you like listening to the songs the next morning and it feels like you're listening to songs from a fucking crazy person you don't even know? Yeah, no, like. Oh, you make, know him. It's like your crazy uncle. Yeah, like <laughs> I'll, make, I'll make a song, bro, and I don't think it's hot. Then the next day when I listen to it, I'll be like, what the fuck, bro? I'm better than a Fucking my favorite artist. Really? Yeah, real shit. No oh, bullshit. Shit. That's crazy. Mm. Damn. So, but when you take that time off from making music, does that feel like you're separating yourself from a loved one? Uh... Like a lot of a lot of rappers I know seem like they would have a hard time taking a month away from recording. Yeah, I feel like when I take my when I took my break, like I'm just now getting out of my break a couple of days ago. Bro, after I just took my break and then I've been in the studio lately, I feel like I lost a little bit of my a little bit of my talent. Like I got to start sharpening my pencil and getting my shit back, right? Really? And like really getting my shit together though so I could get back to how I was rapping before. Right. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Um so who who are the first people to recognize your talent in terms of locally or other rappers or anything like that? Um, like 
some people that I like looked up to, like some of the big artists that I yeah, because like, I noticed you tapping in with a lot of people and and working with a lot of bigger artists, and they yeah. seem like they're they're reaching out, right? Yeah, like uh, one of the people that got me early in my career, though. Like, even though I'm not even nowhere near far, though, but uh, a couple of people that got me early in my career is um, Lil Uzi Vert. Right. Lil Uzi Vert, that's my dog. I fuck with Vert. So that's what I really wanted to ask is, what's up with this video that I watched, this You and Uzi song? And it got taken down, And it got taken down. Yeah, what's up with that? it got taken down. Uh, When I was with Vert, though, after we did the song, we did da 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 like... I'm not. I don't know if it was him or not, though, because we got a good relationship. So I'd be fucked up if it if it was him, though, bro. That should have hurt me, though, if it was him, because I really fuck with Vert, and I got a good relationship with him. I love Vert, though. Like that's he 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 didn't even, he didn't even have to do the shit that he did for me, though. Like he didn't have to do none of that shit he did for me. He did a lot for right. me. Like we did we did more than one songs, shot the video and everything. Though we did a lot, and he told me like I asked him like, "Yo, am I cool?" To, da, 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 da. He said, "Yeah, that's green light, green light." But fucking. I don't know. It might be the label if they if it, they don't feel that, like it got that, cleared yeah, properly. The, yeah, or the label hit me up. The label hit me up and told me like, "Yo, you gotta take it down." And I'm like, "And yeah, fuck y'all, y'all gotta take that shit down yourself." And they that's what they did though. Really? But did you reach out to him and ask him what's going on? Yeah, but um, I was supposed to link up with him out in New York though, uh, not too long ago. But I just never never went. But I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know. But. I'm my own man. He my own man. I probably would have did that shit if somebody. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know, man. I fuck with Vert though. Fuck. That's a hard song. Yeah, and he has like two big long ass verses, and it's like yeah, that shit was at seven hundred k in six days. Really? Oh, yeah. it was only out for like a week. Yeah, it was only out for six days. Wow, it was at seven hundred and seven k. But I ain't tripping by that shit though. Like I fuck with Vert though as a person though. It as a person and uh, as and as a rapper is two different things though. Mm. I don't really I'm not tripping about that shit though When I see him I ask him about it though But I ain't tripping about that shit I fuck with Vert though Right I fuck with Vert He from Philly He made it out though like, I fuck the, with Vert The video's still out there It's just like the fans yeah, It's a little bit harder for him to find it right Yeah I know I don't even give a fuck about that shit though I fuck with Vert though I'm glad to even had a song in the video on my phone Where I could watch it myself Right Yeah You were, you were getting loaded with Uzi? Yeah, yeah Uh no, next actually no, no, nope. Cause you know, uh, uh, not to put his personal shit out there though, but you know, uh, bro, on uh, probation. Oh really? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't want to put his business out there if he don't want me. So you know what I'm saying? He's but talked I, about drugs a lot, but then he's also talked about going to rehab and getting clean and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what he on. I don't that's know where he's at these days, yeah. but. Yeah, I don't know though. I don't really want to put his personal shit out there though. But I fuck with Bert though. That's my dog for real, for real. That's my dog. Right? Is it uh like on a Philly level though? Uh, that's the other thing I was thinking. Is it possible that you guys did the song together and then he figured out that maybe y'all don't exactly fuck with the same people? Or is that am I reaching with that? Mm-mm. Uh, me and Vert just alike though. Like we are own persons. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, he ain't on no, he ain't on no gang bang and shit, none of that type shit, and I ain't on no gang bang. Like, I be fucking with somebody, I, I don't know though, bro, I don't know though, but Vert's own person, I'm my own person though. I fuck with Vert though. Philly's <laughs> super political though, right? In terms of like, hell yeah. who people can work with on some yeah. street type yeah, shit. Yeah, hell yeah, but I do what the fuck I want though, like, ain't nobody gonna tell me shit, bro. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing to me. I didn't, I didn't work with niggas' ops and all that. I don't, I do the fuck I want, bro. Mm. I do the fuck I want, bro. Ain't nobody even tell me shit. I'm like really one of them down there for real, though, bro. Mm. Ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. No, definitely. Um, okay, so I guess my, oh okay, yeah, just to go back to the sort of life story type thing, did you drop out of high school or you finished high school? No, I graduated high school. Okay. Yeah, I, gra- I ain't had no choice. I was on house arrest for two and a half years. Really? For what? Yeah. Uh, I had six dope cases. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, I had six heroin cases. Yeah, I had six dope cases. I was on house arrest for two and a half years. Only reason they let me stay on house arrest is because I was smart. Like I had good grades. I ran across country and all that shit. I played ball. Like I was like really somebody for real, for real. My ex, the principal to the school and all that shit came to my court dates and made sure I didn't go to in jail and none of that shit, bro. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, a lot yeah. of attention. I feel like they they probably got so many kids to worry about. That's crazy. Yeah. They went to your court date. Yeah, yeah. 
man, yep. And my pop, my pop, my pop made sure, like, my, I had an You know, it's different, too. You got a father in your life, too. Mm. My pop and my mother, they both come in. You know, a lot of people don't got their mother and their father in their life. Mm. My pop and my mother made sure that they came to my shit, and they, the judge looked at me different type of way. How do your parents feel about where, where you're at right now? Uh, I know they happy, but, like, they don't, like, they're more focused on me being a... Uh, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, uh, this is this 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 is considered bad to them. Mm. Not to my mom. My mom, my pop really wants me to be like a fucking lawyer and say shit though. though. Like mm. my pop, a real good pop. Like he really want he really like on my ass to, you know what I'm saying? You still got hope that you can yeah. just be a normal person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, yeah. do you have that hope, or do you feel like you're already like you're just either gonna be a rapper or? A nah, criminal. nah, I'm. I ain't a criminal, but I'm already burnt out though. Like I'm already burnt. I'm you already don't think you can handle being burnt. a lawyer? Hell no. That's a very different lifestyle. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could really see you being a lawyer, but but I'm only seeing like this version of you. I don't know if like you know people do make abrupt changes in their lives. I've had friends who were getting fucking loaded for ten years, and then one day they just caught a case where they had to get piss tested, and all of a sudden they just stopped doing drugs and just totally changed their fucking life. Yeah. Hey yo, what's up, with Adam? Hey, hey yo, I seen Adam with the speedos on. Here. <laughs> I seen Adam. I'm with, never gonna live that down. <laughs> I seen Adam with the speedos on like this. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. That was my April Fool's prank. No, nah, I don't know. That was even for that's that's that. I don't Not know. a homosexual. I don't know. Straight don't as know. arrow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You, you, you can still boy. take me to the block in Philly even after the speedo photo shoot. Yeah, you with me, bro. You with me, bro. Okay. You with me, bro. Anybody gonna never try you while you with me, bro? I'm not gonna be wrapping my arms around the homeless people like you though. That's. Uh, bro, why you gotta look at him like that, bro? No, and I just watch you yeah. in the video. I'm like, bro, you can't just be rubbing on him and shit like. <laughs> That's my family. You ever smash a, a, a an unhoused person? <laughs> a woman? When when I was like a kid, though, <laughs> like when I was like a kid, like but I, like I told you though, bro. Back then they wasn't burnt out like now. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't smashed nothing like that though, bro. Like it's it's like back then they was on they shit, bro. They was on they shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Pull it, like they they was on they shit, bro. But maybe it was because you were younger and you didn't have the taste in women that you have now. Yeah, I guess you could say that, too. You could say that. But I wasn't just running around slinging dick to all the Jays, though. You're like, I ain't one of them, no, bro. Just once in a while? Yeah, no. <laughs> the feeling's right. <laughs> the G6 hitting right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's so fucking funny, bro. Um, yo, I hey, yo, they say this look like you right here, bro. Uh-oh. Mm. They all in the comments. This is what they call the Adam Twenty Two, <laughs> right here. Oh shit, that is definitely a drug addict. <laughs> I fuck with him though. Look, 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 He's got his eyes rolled in the back of his head and shit. Oh my god, that definitely does kind of look like me. What the fuck? What's this? When you throw that up, what's that? Kensington. That's Kensington. Holy shit, this guy's in rough shape. Poor bastard. But do you ever feel bad because, like, you know, you're the, the guy who kind of sold him the shit that got him like that, right? <laughs> not right now. <laughs> at least, like, you know, at one time, not maybe not him, but, like, at some point in time, you were the guy who was, you know, I feel like every every pusher at a certain point, you got to kind of deal with the feeling of, like, damn, I I got this person to this point. <laughs> they got me to this point, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got put to this point too Damn I'm trying to show you this video bro The way they be looking down there bro How they hands look bro How the crocodile tranquilizer eats out their skin And all that shit bro Right This shit crazy bro But do you got hope for these people Or for your area Or in your mind is it just like It's over Like It's just what it is bro It ain't no changing that shit though bro <laughs> Like this Look at this shit bro This down Kennington Zombieland. Well, they just got a fire going on the ground. Mm -hmm. What's the fire for? There's fire everywhere, bro. So, so they, so, so they don't uh, get cold. Holy shit! 
I'm gonna text this to myself so we can put it in the video and so you can have my number. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a number to one of the Jays out there. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel like the gap between you and them is like slowly closing sometimes? What you mean? Like you could just end up kind of like being more on their side than the side that you're currently on. I, I hope not, bro. But I would never do certain things, though, that would make me that. Like, well, I do, though. But, like, nah, I, uh, I don't know. I hope not, bro. You feel like you know the line that you need yeah, to not I go do, over? I do, though, bro. But I hope not, though, bro. You, 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 these people that these people that's like that, bro, and just say when they was, like, 22, 23, and be like, yo, bro, when I'm 30, I'm going to be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I hope not, though, bro. Well, that's the crazy thing when I'm watching these vlogs films like in the hood there it's like a lot of these homeless people have like plans in their head for how they're going to get out of this and how and how they're going to be something at some point but it's like they're all just like waiting for the perfect moment to escape but realistically the drugs just keep getting more and more powerful with each generation that goes by and it keeps getting harder and harder for people to like find a way to slip out of that yeah uh, it ain't no coming out of that shit, bro. For most people, yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's just death. It ain't no coming out of that shit, bro. Right. It, it, I mean, if you do though, you're still gonna be. It's still you're still gonna be a certain way though. Like mm. that shit. That shit fucked up, bro. That shit fucked up though, bro. That shit fucked up. I don't even really know how to explain that shit. That shit fucked up. This is the fucked up part. Just kind of how you're so numb to the experience that a lot of these people are having and you just have kind of given up hope for yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, I ain't numb, no, bro. I'm not numb to it. I'm not numb to it, though, bro. Like, that shit hurt me sometimes, too. Like, I actually seen people. I just was crying, you know, like two weeks ago, bro. I just seen somebody that I actually grew up with that was really, like, hanging out with me every day, like one of my friends. Uh -huh. And I was walking by, and I was in bed taking a video with uh, a couple people, and I seen him in the corner just tripping out, shaking, skitching, going crazy. And I seen him, and I'm looking at him, I'm like, damn. What the fuck you doing, bro? And it was actually like one of my friends, like somebody that was really getting money back in the day. And I seen them, bro. That shit fucked me up, bro. That shit fucked me up, bro. That shit hurt my heart. And the, just knowing that there's nothing that you could do to yeah. make him jerk himself out of the situation. Like, and all I could do is give him a couple dollars and he's going to go back and do the same shit, though. That shit hurt me, bro. Damn. That shit hurt me. It's a lot of people. It, I, I got a lot of friends just... That I grew up with, bro, that was making money with me and doing stuff with me. And that shit fucked up, bro. That shit fucked up. Damn. Look at, look, on, I'm going to show you something right here. I feel like you're, look, okay. Look at this, look at this hand, bro. Look at her hand. Look. Oh, what the fuck? I think you. It should be stupid. Oh, oh, yeah, play it. It's the ears freezing. Hold on, look. Just leave it. Let it play. Look, watch. It's about to pop up. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. This thing's small, though. It's a lot of other shit like that, bro. You the only sexy one. See, this is the shit that they can't put on YouTube in terms of, like, it's just basically like a woman's hand that is, like, almost, like, rotten, like, you can see like red like cracks in her skin and it's all it's like not green a hand and no scaly more. It's and a zombie shit. hand. It's a zombie hand. She's like not even bothering to cut her nails. Her yeah, nails bro. are super long and that's, shit. That's just one out of a thousand, bro. What the fuck? That shit fucked up. That shit hurt sometimes too, though, bro. Right. Yeah, like that shit hurt. Like just talking about that shit. That shit hurt a little bit though, too, bro. You're, like, I ain't, you, you might not tell though, bro. That shit really hurt sometimes too, but bro. You, you get hate from people because they feel like you're using that shit as like marketing. I'm not using it. I'm not using this marketing. I'm using it. I'm showing my real life, bro. This is really where I came from. I've actually seen this shit all my life. The bro. more successful you become and the more I'm further that you get away that. from like being on the block every day, the I, more that people are gonna be like, he's using this shit. No, to, I'm never gonna leave the block. Really? I'm never gonna leave the block, bro. I can have a trillion dollars, bro. I'm gonna be down there, bro. Mm. I'm gonna be down there, bro. Every I'm I'm gonna be down there, bro. Every time, nigga, I don't go nowhere else. Mm. When I'm in Philly, I don't do nothing else but stay down Kensington. You catch my brother where I'm at all day. 
Kensington. I don't leave Kensington. But the bigger your name gets, the more you're at risk be being Kensington. in that environment, right? I'm going to be in Kensington. I promise you, bro. You give me a billion dollars, I'm still going to be in Kensington. Mm. I might travel, come over here. Da, da, da. Once I leave from here and I go back to the Philly, bro, my first place is Kensington. That's just where you're comfortable at? That's, that's where I'm from. That's home. So you think if you move to L.A. and you got a big house and you, you know, had palm trees outside and you can go to the beach, that wouldn't really do it for you? No. Uh, <laughs> it would, though, bro, but it'd I'm always going to— be fun for a little while? I'm a, yeah, it'd be fun for a little while, bro, but that's just like a little vacation to me, bro. I'm always going to come back to Kensington. Mm. That's just where I'm from, bro. That's just where I'm from. That's where I'm, I'm always going to be there, bro. Right. That's where I'm from. Bro, it's niggas out there. The niggas is out there trapping for me, bro. Them niggas protect me. I don't even. I come. I go out there and I'm and I got my shit on me and all that. And I got my niggas with me that's gonna blow shit for me for all that shit for me, bro. But I don't even need a gun when I'm out there, bro. Mm. A nigga walk up to me wrong, bro. I, it's a thousand niggas that's gonna run down. I, I'm. I really wanted them down there, bro. For real, though, bro. I ain't even gonna. I'm really like that for real, for real down there, for real. Mm. No bullshit. Respect. <laughs> I really wanted them. That was like a little baby one. Yeah. <laughs> like, depending on where you're at, you like take a different amount. No, it's, it's just for y'all, so you ain't got to cut a big part. <laughs> you don't got to cut a big portion out of it. I'm going to just have them blur it every time. <laughs> they can just listen in. I can't get on the moral high road, though, because I had— You got to hit it one time, bro, for the camera, bro. You got to hit it one time, bro. You got to hit it one time, bro. <laughs> Just one time for the camera, bro. You got to do one time. Just tilt it to the side or what? Just twist it. Twist it this way. Are you going to be offended if I rub yeah. this off? Nah, for sure. I do every time when so somebody else I did twist it, it and then yeah. just suck? Like this. Don't know. No, no diddy. Pause, 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 pause. No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. Uh-oh. Don't do no sucking, bro. That was that. That was that. Twist it more. Adam, you know what the fuck that shit is, bro. You did it like you know what you did. He know what it is. You're... I only ever done it out the balloon or the uh, or the little cartridge uh, thing. I never I never did it like. Yeah. See, my voice turning all crazy. Like you, I sound yeah. like Cardi. Yeah. What's uh, going on? I'm gonna sign the opium with this voice. <laughs> you know what the fuck that shit is. Uh, <laughs> so everybody at home can kind of review my behavior right now. Okay, now I'm feeling it. All right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right. yeah one more though. One more. Nah. Though. You, add him, you, you 22. One you, time. You Adam 22. You got to hit 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. <laughs> two, two. Adam 22. One time is like, oh, all right. He's he's just you giving it a shot. You 22. You got to hit it two times. No, dude. by that logic, I got to hit it 22 times and then I'm going to die. All right, but 2-2, two, two, Joe. Just run 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Why am I letting this junkie fucking convince me to do this <laughs> shit? God damn it. You better blur my ass so bad, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you add a twenty-two. Now. Yeah, I overdid it. I did it too fast. What the fuck? <laughs> you <had> him- <laughs> How the fuck am I letting him do it? <laughs> you add a forty-four now. <laughs> Adam bro, I'm gonna torch my whole reputation. I'm supposed to be like Charlemagne, bro. I'm supposed to be at the BLM rally. I'm supposed to be on some woke shit, bro. I'm supposed to be like helping to change the community, not just getting down with them. Charlemagne. <laughs> God damn it. There's so much worse than it looks, too, because I'm watching this home. You hit it like way more times than you. You keep that shit on you every day? Yeah, I just bought this shit from out here. Oh, so you had to. Yeah. Land in the plane, and then you already had a spot yeah, picked out. I got my black truck driver. I got my black truck driver. He's driving me. Oh, that there. guy's the driver. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, damn, he, he's he's really lit. If he got this dude over here nah. holding the thing for him, but that's the driver. Okay. Uh, oh no, that's my brother. Not him. I'm talking about the, oh, the yeah, driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can see why you guys have such a fucking issue with this too, though, because you do it once or twice, and then you're like, "Oh yeah, I could definitely keep doing that." Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. for you. Because yeah. mm-hmm. one time I was with uh, YSL Duke at the YSL Mansion back in the day, a couple years ago, before before the Rico and everything. I seen him go through a whole fucking case of whippets while recording one verse. Yeah, free thug, free thug, free thug, free Duke, free, free all them. Duke too. Yeah, free thug. I dropped the whole song called Free Thug. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Oh, okay. There's there's one thing I wanted to ask you about is uh, when I was listening to your most recent tape, there's a song called Long Live Cheese, and it, I didn't realize that you had a real relationship with uh, Gilly's son who got yeah. killed maybe yeah, yeah. a year ago or six months ago or yeah, some shit yeah. like that. How did you know him, and what, and what, what kind of yeah. person was he? I was in the fucking, um, this crazy thing, though. I was in the studio. 
I, I, I started recording. It, it was a nigga that record. It was a nigga that rented rented cars out. He rented he rented his own cars out. Okay. And I and he had told me like, yo, I got my own studio. Da, 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 da. Bang! So I started renting cars from him. And then I started recording over there. And my whole plan was to rent cars from him and take one of his cars. Mm. So we end up going to the studio. Boo, boo, boo. I end up seeing Cheese there. And I'm like, damn, what's up, Cheese? Hold on. First, start. Let me start all over. Let me start it all over. First, I used to play basketball with uh, Cheese back when I when we were kids. Oh, I used okay. to play basketball with Cheese. Cheese was good at ball. I used to play basketball with Cheese when we were young boys. Mm. Bang. Then I started... Um, but later on, though, I started renting the car from somebody and he owned his own studio. So I ran in the cars, bang, and he had his own studio, and he was already backing Cheese. He was already putting money behind Cheese, helping Cheese with his own little shit. Hmm. Him and his brother, Mac. Did you always know he was Gilly's son? Uh, no, I never knew that. Really? He kept it kind of low-key? Yeah, he, oh. yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, they don't really. They never really liked it to uh, just say like, "Yo, yeah, I'm just." They, they liked it to heck, they they wanted to build their own name, right, right. So, because there's a couple of them, it's Mac, Cheese, and it's New York, LA. Okay, she's big too. She's big. She's one. Of, yeah, you gotta look into her. New York, New York LA. LA. She's down. big. She's big. She just dropped the song with Brent Fayez, ASAP oh, Rocky. Yeah. yeah, like she's big. Yeah, like that's my baby. I fuck with New York, LA. That's my baby girl. Um. I had um, I was with uh, Cheese at the studio at the dude that rented the cars out and shit, and we were chilling. Bang, me and uh, Cheese and I'm doing a couple songs, and I had took and we, I was renting the cars off of one of the dudes who owned the studios, and I had took one of his cars and I kept it. He mad at me for stealing the <laughs> nigga cars. <laughs> He's like a police dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I was already, I had a scenario in my head where I was like, what if Skrilla jumps out of his seat and can't handle the dog coming up to him? Because that's going to be crazy to me if you're so comfortable with the Jays, but not comfortable having a dog come <laughs> sniff you. <laughs> but you actually seem kind of comfortable with yeah, him. So. No, I got, I got two Huskies. I got two Siberian Huskies. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. But fucking, uh, I had I, I was in the studio with Cheese for the last couple of days though, like in the studio where the dude who rents cars out and he had the studio. I was in the studio with Cheese for the last couple of days. We were in the studio making songs back to back, boom, boom, boom. And uh, but but before we even made our first song, the bull who uh, rents the cars out, he was asking me like, "Yo, you could do a song with Cheese?" And I looked at him like, "Bro, Cheese is my fucking man. I do a song with Cheese." Fuck if you ask me, bro. If Cheese asked me, nigga, I'll do a song with Cheese all day. Mm. So me and Cheese did a song, bang. And the nigga who um I was renting the cars from after we did our songs, boom, 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 boom. I took one of the dude's cars and I kept the car. And I never t and I never gave it back to him. I was driving back and forth from the LA and the Johnny, going to the studio, I, I, LA and the Johnny. I was running around everywhere doing everything in the Johnny. You were driving back and forth from Philly to LA? Yeah, in the Johnny. Why? Oh, in New York, New York, New oh, York, okay. New York, New York, and a Johnny. Like, just because this was before I signed and everything, I was spending all my money in the rapping. Uh -huh. And I and I was starting to get fucked up. I wasn't trying to buy. And I just smacked my Durango out. But I got a garage where I got five smacked out cars in the garage. Why not just get on a plane? Because I don't put insurance on it. No, to New York, to New York, to oh, New York. Oh, it's New back York. and forth. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I got five cars that I smacked out inside a garage. Shout out my man Dennis. He got all my cars in his garage. I got. I'm the first nigga in Philly with a Fisker Karma. Why don't you get insurance? I just a dickhead. <laughs> I'm just a dickhead. But you, you ever, have a hard time thinking about the future. Yeah, I just don't. You're just care. in the moment. Yeah. I. You ever heard of a Fisker Karma? No. What's up? I got a Fisker Karma, and I wrapped it orange, and it's an electric and gas car. When the sun out, it collects solar. It's got a solar panel on the roof really? where it collects energy, where it would never die, wow. and it and it collects gas too. Fisker Karma, bro. Oh shit. Hot as car, and um, I got I got two charges in there. I got a caddy truck. I got a whole bunch of cars in the garage that I smacked out. Just doing dickhead shit. Wow. But fucking, uh, but fuck all that shit, though. Me and Cheese did a couple songs together. And, um, then that's, and then, uh, sad to say that shit happened, though. Mm. That shit happened. And I was just about to drop my, um, my tape. 
album tape, whatever you want to call it, Underworld. And my uh and I'm the first and I'm the person that started that dark music, that dark sound, like you literally tuned into my music. Mm. I'm the first person that started that dark very you, dark. That, that, yeah, I'm the first person to start. And then on top of that, I'm talking about my religion, my Arishas and everything. Like, I'm talking, I'm really, like, that's really my, I started that shit. But fucking, uh, while I was, while I was putting my album, my tape together, Cheese had died two, three days before that. Mm. And I'm like, yo, I gotta put Cheese on there just to keep his name alive and everything. You know, I just felt some type of way and I just wanted to put Cheese on there. And, my tape, I was trying to drop my tape the next three, four days, but I had to get it clear. You know, I, I had signed, so I had to get it clear through uh, somebody that she's a so-called manager or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to contact everybody. I was trying to contact Gilly, Wallow. I was talking to New York, L.A., uh, Gilly Daughter. I was talking to everybody that I knew from Cheese, and nobody was getting back to me. So we ended up getting in contact with Cheese's mother, and she just was like, yo, yeah, you could drop the song, but we need the uh, royalties. We need to have uh, uh, a certain percentage of the royalties, like 50% or 60%. And I'm like, damn, that's a lot, but I'm with whatever. Y'all can have 100%, though, just because of what happened. I'm, mm. I just, I'm doing it for him. Right. So she ended up clearing it and doing everything, and I ended up being able to put cheese onto my album, mm. and that's what I really wanted. So shout out to Cheese though and uh, Gilly and everybody though, but that's what I really wanted though, just for him though. But uh, rest in peace, Cheese though. Long live Cheese though. Right. Nah, yeah. man, that that was that was fucked up though, cause he was a good person. He wasn't on none of that. He was a good dude though. Right. He didn't he didn't deserve that shit. Really, cause that's why like a lot of people have kind of wondered is what kind of life was he living that you know might have ended him up in that kind of situation and. Nah, he wasn't even living that type of life though. Like he, he was just a regular Philly dude though. Like you know what I'm saying? You do regular Philly shit though. Like a little selling little weed, little 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 small little shit though. But right. he wasn't running out here on no King Von shit trying to kill her. Mm. He was on some regular you know what I'm saying? Oh like I fuck with Cheese though. Cheese wasn't on no John that shit though. Like Cheese a real nigga, like I fuck with him, you know, he's staying in his place. Cheese, cheese good dude. Cheese good dude. Love One of the cheese. The things I saw that was like real disturbing was that and you know, it's it's always like when somebody gets killed or somebody dies, you just like a competition to come up with the worst fucking thing you could possibly say about it on the internet. But a lot of people were trying to put it on Gilly and say, like, Oh, you abandoned your kid or some shit as if he wasn't his own man. Like he didn't want to go just follow his dad around. He was trying to build his own thing, you know? Yeah, no, he definitely, they, they definitely ain't one of them. They definitely, I ain't even trying to waste the uh, fucking interview talking about somebody, else, but like he definitely wasn't on that trying to be, he was trying to be his own man though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be my dad's, dad, my dad's baby boy. You feel right. me? Like, like I got a father too. I'm not trying to, I'm not, I don't want everybody to look at me and be like, yo, there go, What's his name? Dad, like that. You know what I'm saying? But you like, even saying that he wasn't just like making it super known or talking about that being his dad, especially given the fact that his dad has become like a really fucking big deal in rap over the past however many years. Yeah. That to me just makes me think like, oh, this is a dude who was trying to carve yeah, his own path. Yeah, if anything, he was yeah. probably kind of like inspired by seeing his pops be able to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, facts. That's exactly what he was on. No, that's exactly what he was on. He was just trying to make his own route. Mm. He definitely was trying to make his own path. That's why I really fuck with him, though. But, yeah, he just wasn't trying to be his dad's baby boy, though. He wasn't trying to be his dad's baby boy. He wasn't trying to be no fucking King Combs. <laughs> he wasn't trying to be no King Combs. <laughs> but, I mean, it's crazy seeing people say that shit because that's like, how. what percentage of us take in our father's footsteps? Like, very, very few people just, like, line up behind their dad to, like, get into the business that he was in. Yeah, only person I can know that that I can say that did that it was like that's doing that is like LeBron's son, like yeah. Cause I don't even know his name. I don't even know his son's name. I just Brian. know that that's yeah, Brian. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's LeBron Junior. Yeah, right. That's but shit, if he don't make it to the NBA, he's gonna have to figure out his own thing. And it's like he might not want it to be a hundred percent based on his dad's fame. You know? Yeah. No real shit. Facts. Yeah. Hey yo. Yo, how long you be taking to drop your interviews though? Like, cause somebody, my man, one of my mans did they join? My man Prince Dre did this join. You ain't never dropped Prince Dre. Yeah, on. we did. Oh, y'all did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it ain't go up crazy though. It did pretty good. It might have taken like a week or two to uh oh, right. to get it out, but well, I'll try to get this out within a week. We, we uh -huh. got a shitload on deck, so. 
Hey yo though, Bernardo, I seen you with the little with the little speedos on. Yo, you be doing, <laughs> yo, you be you be doing to the, you be yo you be going to the swingers clubs? Not not yet. Not I, yet. I, I do want to check it out though. Ah, uh, yo, I seen like you you one of them type. They boys. got some yeah. popping ones out here. You want to take boys? Yo, was yo the kinky rabbit? I heard a lot about the kinky rabbit. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. check the kinky rabbit out what, at some point. What type of girls you like though? Shit. I was thinking about that the other day. Like I don't, I don't think I got a type. Like I, I like them all. Your your girl, your wife let you. Your wife let you have threesomes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mostly on camera, but yeah, that is heavy. We That's don't really heavy. Be going out of our way to fuck too many broads off camera. That's heavy. Though. I wish. I wish I had. Yo, can I have one of your wife's friends? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I need one. You're they out LA? Bro, I wish you were here last week because we went to a party last Friday, like a big porn party. And I had all the homies in there, and they never seen this many fucking bad bitches who are sex workers in their life. Like, they were loving it. Yeah, you know, once I let them hit this whippy, they're going to be lost in their mind. Yeah. Bro, there, there, was a, there was a room, and it had a little sign on the door, and it said the drug room. And you go into the room, and there's just a guy sitting there with, like, two bodyguards, and he just got a suitcase. And he's like, yeah, we got these Roxies, we got these Zans, we got these. I know who you're talking about. What's the name? I don't fucking know. I didn't ask his name. I know name. you're talking about. Everybody talking. <laughs> no, it's like an old dude. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, I ain't he's like a famous name. drug dealer, then that's insane. Yeah, I know you're talking about, though, bro. Really? I know you're talking about. I ain't even gonna see his name. I know you're talking about, bro. I didn't, uh, I I didn't indulge, about. but I definitely seen a couple of the homies like immediately pull out their phone and start Venmoing the motherfucker and walk out with a pocket full of candy. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. That is insane if you know who that's I'm talking crazy. about. That's crazy. I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. He'd it, really be around. But bro, if I had you in that environment, I feel like you would have fucking started Yeah, I would have took his whole suitcase. I would have <laughs> took his whole suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming the guys standing next to him were the shooters, but. Because I've been to a, like. Shit, a, I with the shooters too. They just didn't pull up yet. <laughs> I've been to some like cool Hollywood parties, but I've never been to one where it was like that obvious of like, oh, hey, whatever drugs you need. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yo, you're funny as Okay, shit. so I wanted to ask you this. It's been in debate a lot over the past couple of weeks. What is Meek Mill's status in Philadelphia? Do the streets still fuck with him? Has this whole Diddy thing put a real chink in his armor? What's your thoughts? I don't know why Philly don't fuck with Meek. I don't know why Philly don't fuck with him. Like, Philly, Philly be on some weird shit. Philly... Philly a crab in a barrel city. Philly Philly just want to bring everybody down. Like, I could do one thing. I could do one little thing, and Philly's, that's that's the first thing they're going to do. That's all they're going to talk about is me, Skrilla, Skrilla, da, 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 just to bring me all the way down to the bottom and make me not nobody no like more. They, they like to see you rise, but then yeah. they like to see you crash yeah. as well. But, like, little did they know me. I don't know. I don't know Meek personally to say like what he do for this, this, that, and the third though. But personally though, I fuck with Meek. Meek a good dude though. Like all that Pete did, I don't believe that shit though. Me neither. Me personally, I don't believe it though. But me, I fuck with Meek. Meek made it out the hood. He changed laws. He ain't have to change laws for dirt bikes and all. He ain't have to do the shit that he did. Mm. Meek already got bread though, bro. But I fuck with Meek though personally. Bro. I fuck with Meek. Meek even reaches out to me and talk to me. Like I talked to Meek once really? in the blue on Instagram. Like I just was talking to Meek not too long ago. Yeah. Mm. Like matter of fact, I'm about to call Meek. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me see if he can answer. That would be legendary. Let me see the watch. Meek Mill. What would I ever say if I got a chance to meet Meek Mill? I really don't know. Nah, I met Rick Ross the other day. Yeah, that was kind of legendary. Oh yeah, you met Rose for the first time. Yeah, at the Porn Awards. I'm yeah at the what? (laughs) At the Porn Awards, he was performing. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I was in good with the bodyguards. I knew the the bodyguards on some gangster shit, so locked right in. You know, not really 100 percent sure how he felt about me. Yeah, I'm pissed. I'm in Meek. I'm about to see if he's gonna answer. I got to get Meek on his job. Yes. Yes, we do. Otherwise. If he don't answer, look, watch. If he don't answer, I got another way to get in contact with him. I'm going to put him. I'm getting Meek on his job. I'm getting Meek on his job. <laughs> I know that Meek is super petty because he followed Academics' his ex-girlfriend like a day or two ago. So that's, that's she's a messy one. 
So I don't know exactly what he got planned, but people were pointing out on the Reddit that he followed her. I'm like, oh, Lord, what's going to happen? Hold on, look, watch. I'm about, to, look, I'm about to call my old head. I'm about to call my dog Mike Knox. Mike Knox. That's me. That's me, folks. Hold on, Mike Knox. Yeah, hold on, look. Look, watch. I'm about to get him. Let me call Knox right now. I'm calling Mike Knox right now. Bro, oh, he ain't fucking with Mike Knox. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, hey, Knox. Hey, yo, look. Hey, yo, look. This is my dog, Mike Knox, right here. Look, you hear it? What's up, G? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, I'm on Adam22, you hear it? What's up, man? What's up, Adam? What's shit? Hey, what's going on, Jay? How you doing? Hey, yo, hey, yo, look, I'm telling them how 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 Philly fucked up, like with that crap in the bed. Like Philly, once you do one thing wrong, bro, Philly gonna try to make that shit to the max, bro, and try to make you where you. You know what I'm saying? The same shit with Meek, yeah. Hey, yo, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get Meek on this joint. You don't think Meek can answer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not talking, talking like that though. No. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Oh, so, shit. so me not gonna get on the jack then, right? <laughs> Pick the wrong connect. <laughs> oh no, I can't speak for him. All right, no, but yo, look, look. This my dog Mike Knox, though. You're this my old head, Mike Knox. This is Adam Twenty Two. Doing the show right now? Yeah, I'm yeah, on my, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm on interview. No, I'm on it right now. He's doing the craziest interview you're ever gonna see in your life. Oh, it's crazy, man. That's what's up, man. Skrilla, my guy. That's that's little bro right there. You know what I'm saying? That's the face of Zombieland. Real. Listen, everything about him is authentic and real. He know every fucking crack fiend <laughs> in his neighborhood by first and last name. <laughs> yeah, he told me he smashed a couple of them too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I <laughs> see y'all though, man. I see what y'all doing, man. Keep working, man. Right, Appreciate right, you, G. All right, all right, I'm gonna tap bro. in. I'm gonna call you once I leave from here. Uh, wow, that was that was very interesting. The Meek Mill Hive, you're gonna see that. Yeah. You're gonna de de dissect exactly <laughs> what just happened on that phone call. Yeah, no, nah, Meek ain't getting on today. You cool mm -hmm. with Phil, uh, Quilly? Quilly, <laughs> Meek <and> Quilly, because <laughs> Quilly been on the anti Meek Mill tour. Nobody, nobody's uh, going harder on him than, than yeah, Quilly. I fought, I, fought, I fought with Meek and I fought with Quill. Okay. Quill, my dog. Quill yeah. didn't pick me up from my crib when I wasn't even popping. He picked me up from my crib and I talked to him. You, you, don't got, you got Quill on me? Yeah, what is it? Quilly doing numbers. His interview that we just did with him? 44. It went up. He did Ack. That shit went up. He got like 700K on Ack. I think he got like four or 500K on me and, uh, me and Wax show. This, that shit. He's, I see. He did say cheese too. Cruelly, on a, a, a tour. Damn, this dog is thirsty mm -hmm. as fuck for some attention right now. Oh, uh, I think every two weeks. Yeah, we got a guy who just comes by, trims them up. Yeah, my special. I just went to the Rick Owens store. They ain't had shit in there, John. For real? Yeah, I took like six Zannies before I got on the flight, <laughs> bro. I was rock. Holy shit, <laughs> six. You're like a throwback to the old school SoundCloud days, to be honest. Hmm. You, you, you're getting overloaded. Steve-O? I know Steve-O. Steve-O cannot be around this type of shit, though. You can't even smoke weed before uh, before you do a Steve-O interview. He needs it to be a clean environment for him. But I could definitely tap you in with Steve-O. You might not like his, his, his vibe, though, because he's going to be trying to get you to get clean. He's not going to be, like, laughing at you taking whippets. Yeah, you talking about Hemi Ray back. Hold on, my, he, I'm calling him again. I, I feel like I might have Quilly's number too. Maybe we could double team him. Pause. Nah, I'm calling him. That nigga, he he got to. Oh shit, no diddy, oh, no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, twin. Hey yo. Hey, hey we heard you were talking bad about the Chasers. What's happening? <laughs> Man, never that Adam. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, Adam. Hey Adam. Hey Adam. I said, I said, yo, I said, Quilly not answering my jack right now. He, he must not got this number. Adam told me, hold on, I'm about to call him too. We about to double team him. I said, no diddy, yeah. <laughs> no diddy, yeah. We ain't on that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely ain't had his number right. I had another number. No, I already know. Hey yo, no, no, you, yo, you know, I love you, dog. You, you know, you already know. Love you too, bloody. We gonna carry you, man. Make sure you set that shit on fire up there. Hey, what, what, what do you want the people to know about Skrilla? I'm already on it. 
What'd you say, Adam? What, what, what do you think the people need to know about Skrilla? Man, how, how he got more pain. He, how he got another side of him, man. And he got a whole, he got a lot of another, uh, uh, a different catalog of music that people ain't here that I heard already. Oh, really? You feel me? He ain't, he ain't released that side of it yet. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Yo, hey, yo. Think, yo, a lot of people think he just can make one 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 sound of music. You hey, know what I mean? hey, cool. I told him. I I told you. I told him, bro. I can you you came and got me from my crib, bro. My my literally my crib. Yeah, no my cool. crib, bro. And we went to the trenches, bro. Bro, this nigga ain't even want one. This nigga ain't even want want to leave. Cause I'm fried right now. This nigga won't even leave. Fried. You can't even talk. Yeah, hey, yo, I'm fried, bro. I'm tripping. This shit beating my ass, yeah. You were fucking with the zombies? Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Bullshit. This nigga ain't even want to leave Kensington, bro. You heard? Damn. It's, it's, it's nothing but love, man. I met his mom, his pop, everything, man. Nah. I'm coming to Philly, man. I got to tap in. Nah, real shit, bro. I'm on, and and Tony, we comfortable down there, bro. We don't need no pole, none of that. You know we come with the poles, bro, but we don't even we need that shit. With Crocs on. We can walk around with Crocs on, Adam. To clap us. Oh, fire. I'm going to start growing my beard out now. You don't even need none of that, yeah. You don't need a beard to walk around Philly? Mm, shit. <laughs> what? I mean, you don't need none of that, yeah. <laughs> when I used to go to Philly, beards <laughs> in the building, bro. I get a feeling that Carry shit has that changed. Shit. Like, you already know. Yo, I'm going to call you once I leave. I love you, yeah. I love you too, man. All right, Twin. So you're saying that in Philly now, it's not as common to just see a, a shitload of motherfuckers with big ass beards? Because back in the day, that was kind of the Fuck, image. No, they no, it ain't. Changed. No, no, it's that for love. So you, you you could be on your Muslim tip, you could be on your dean, as they say, and uh, but you don't have to be rock, rocking the beard necessarily. Fuck no. Oh, okay. Fuck no. I had freeway on here the other day. No, you didn't. Legend. Legend. I love freeway. It was, did you grow up on that type of shit? I, it's yeah, a little you too know, old. You know, you know, it's crazy. Freeway daughter, Freeway daughter went to my school with me. Yeah, I used to free. I used to see Freeway once he picked what, up his daughter from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I used to that. see. I used to see her once he picked her up from school every day. Really? Mm hmm. Every day. Mm hmm. Damn. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. I know Freeway too, though. That's a legend right there, man. He fucking has lived through some of the craziest shit. You know, mm -hmm. like he's he's accomplished a lot. But with the, the kidney shit and losing so many people and stuff, like his his whole story was intense, man. That's that's a that's a legend to me. I'm never never gonna forget that interview. Yeah, no, real shit. Definitely. Um but uh okay. Where were we? Where were we? Let me get let me get back to my question list here. Um let's see, what we got here? Oh, so how'd you end up tapping in with uh, G Herbo? Yeah, but, uh, I feel like he's got a crazy track record for tapping in with artists before they really fully blow up and, and blessing them with a feature. Yeah, no, crazy thing is, yo, I love you, but that's my dog, for real, bro. For real, he did a lot for me. He don't even know what he did, bro. I think he did a lot for me. I don't, he don't even dig. But you want me to tell you what's crazy, though? I was coming out here to shoot my video with G Herbo on, on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hello? When can I see you? Oh, uh, not right now. I'm doing an interview right now. Meek Mill. I'm doing an interview right now. Hold on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought Meek Mill was uh, pretty big. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming out here. I came out here to shoot my video with her mm. on the uh, 13th. Oh, and we for had, real? Yeah, and we and we had her on. So I'm just like, damn, I'm coming 13th. out here. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh shit. Tomorrow. Yeah, yep. I'm shooting my video with her, but tomorrow. I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I just came out here. So I'm like, damn, let me make sure I make my flight out here though before I even so I could just knock two things at once. Right. Yeah, but I'm shooting my video with Herb though tomorrow though. But you really yeah. tapped in with Chicago, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah, Herb, that's my dog. And Minsky, no limit Minsky. Mm. That's my brother, bro. Okay. Minsky, once I came out here, nothing but love, bro. Minsky made sure I was cool. Give me what you know what I'm saying? Minsky really that's that's really my brother. That was the first person I called. Uh, when I came out here, I went. You know this nigga to uh, call me back. I just talked to him. You supposed to come over here and meet me over here. Who? Mainski. Oh, okay. No limit, Mainski. Nice. That's what's up. Why were you a uh, pay me Skrilla originally, and why'd you decide to change it? My that was just my Instagram oh, name. Okay. Yeah, that was just my Instagram name. I really came up with my name Skrilla because I had a clothing line like. I had a cool line when I was a kid called Skrilla Gorilla. Oh, okay. And I just was like, fuck it, let me make my name Skrilla. 
And I just made my name Skrilla. Are you a big fan of the Kodak Black song? Yeah, yeah, that was the yeah. first Kodak Black song I ever heard back in the day. Yeah, yeah, Skrilla. Yeah, Skrilla. That's a yeah, yeah. classic. Yeah, that's one of my favorite songs too. It's kind of a crazy yeah. rap name for you though, because I feel like Skrilla is sort of like a bling bling get money ass name, yeah. and then you, I feel like you represent a different side. Of <laughs> the, the illest shit I seen was you rapping in front of a big ass fire with a blanket over you. Yeah, like, I was black like, damn, he really yeah. trying to summon the energy. Yeah, scroll a black hat. Yeah, <laughs> my song black hat. Yeah, what is um, what's putting a crouton on the glizzy? <laughs> what's a crouton? I eat a lot of salads, but put a crouton back the glizzy. That I, shit. I never put a crouton on a hot dog though. Nah, pause. No diddy. Oh, it's a different type. Don't of do that. Oh. Yeah. We don't need no switches on no hot dogs. It's bro. like ant glizzy. Nah, huh? nah. <laughs> you know, you know the crouton. It's crouton like a little square, right? Right. I put a crouton back the glizzy. You know the switches. The switches. Ah, the switches on the glizzy. You see, how I trolled you into explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't showing me. I would explain it regularly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was funny though. As soon as I heard crouton, I was like, "Damn, they really got some wild slang out there." What's some slang I should know in in Philly? Dickhead, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> we started no Diddy. Uh, Quilly, he's gonna be yeah, living off that soon. Yeah, no Diddy. Um, what's bipping, bipping? What's bipping? Bipping. Your perspective, like bipping, like you just bipping, like. Like the shit you got on, you fly, you trim, you bipping, you bipping, you let you like that, like bipping, like you know what I'm saying, like I'm bipping, like out here bipping is when they take the spark plug and they smash the window of your car and take yeah, all your shit. Nah, it, bipping is when you take the spark plugs, you take the whip and all that, and now you bipping when you driving <laughs> take the that car. Door, okay. like, now you trim, you bipping, like and, you know what I'm saying, like bipping is when you just come in trim like you fly you got all, all right this mm. type you, you bipping like you got rolly bust down chain bust down like you, you bipping like when you, you know what i'm saying like you trim mm. that's bipping that's okay. bipping what it mean in philly i'm gonna remember that yeah like and me and hood tolly free hood tolly free my dog hood tolly uh-huh you know who hood tolly is no that's I'm my dog tap in. tap in hood tolly he booked right now okay hood tolly that's my dog free hood tolly and free my man 40 Ordy too 40 Ordy. I heard you talking about the 40 Ordy a lot in the song. Yeah, songs. 40 Ordy. That's my dog. Free 40 Ordy and free Hop Out Blick. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Um, So, where did you were cool with Kwani at a certain point, and then y'all fell out. And I, I noticed that you were saying that you invented the dark music in Philly. And was that, that was the origin of you guys having issues with each other, right? Was that he was claiming it? Yeah. Look, well, I don't even really like to talk about this shit, though, with me and Kwani, though, because, like, it's just a lot of little nut shit, though, but, like, my entourage and his entourage, mm. you know what I'm saying? Street shit, yeah. But at the beginning, me and Kwani was cool, but, like, Kwani, all right, though, bro, but Kwani not, Kwani just a bitch, bro. Really? Yeah, Kwani a bitch. That's just what it is, bro. He cool and all though, bro, but he just a bitch. He just do little shit that bitches do though. Like you feel me? Like Kanye just like, but he cool though, bro. I don't want to put no dirt in his name though, like and all that shit though, cause I'm fuck around with the same. Matter of fact, Kanye just a bitch, bro. <laughs> I keep Kwani thinking you're bitch, gonna bro. try to clean it up here, but yeah, I, I ain't want I ain't want to pull his card though. But Kanye a bitch, bro. Kanye ain't never took no piss. Kanye ain't never do. Kanye's a bitch, bro. That's this is that. I don't even want to talk about it no more though, bro. Damn, he's just a bitch. That's that's just what it is. I fuck with his music, and I, I ain't never even stamped it now, but it's stamped now though, dude. That's what. It is. Oh Jesus Christ! His music is dope though. I, I never really like met him or anything. <laughs> I think he's mad at me. <laughs> bro, he do. He's just a bitch. He do little shit that bitches do, bro. Like he just, he's just a bitch. Because we were supposed to do an interview, and then like instead of like organizing it with the fucking the, the lady that you were talking to, Laura, in terms of like figuring out a date and stuff, yeah. he he would just call me randomly and be like, "I'm at your store." Let's do the interview. And I'd be like, bro, I got a, 
a whole schedule. Like I gotta, yeah. I ain't even about to waste my time on here talking <laughs> about another man, bro. Okay. Cause I'm a gangster, bro. Like I really run around, really like that, bro. I get fried and all that shit, bro. Niggas call say all that little type shit though, bro. I get fried and all that shit, bro. But I stand on business, bro. Like I really run around, I really run out, ready to bang it out with. I really run it out. I'm ready to throw my life away, bro. I ain't got no rap, bro. Like really, like I run around like that, bro. But Kwani not really like one of them, no, bro. Kwani really like to. I bet you he's a matter of fact, then he's just signed his deal. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt he gonna be in Philly, bro. I, I, I like he should move from out of Philly, bro. I doubt he's gonna be out in Philly, bro. But uh, but I fuck with certain people that be around him, bro. But Kwani know he not like that, bro. And the people that's around him know he's not like that, bro. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. Kwani's a rapper. He said that you started rapping on OT7 Kwani type beats. <laughs> Bro, me and him are nothing alike, bro. Bro, my videographer, my videographer, I feel with is though. He cool and all that, though. But my videographer listens to all my unreleased music, and he goes back and tells him, yo, bro, Skrilla did this type beat. Da, 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 da. Yo, you should try to do this. You should try to do this. He start trying to rap like me. Oh, shit. He's doing all the same type beats. He's starting to find all the producers. That, yo, I ain't even one of them, though, bro. Mm. Next question, bro. I ain't even one of them, no, bro. What did you mean when you said, I know what go on in them vehicles? I know what's going on in the vehicles, bro. Like, <laughs> let's let's not talk about that, though, bro, because I ain't one of them, bro. I ain't even... Oh, I ain't, I ain't, Getting a little too police yeah, right there? Yeah, I don't even want to talk about... I don't even want to talk about nothing like that. If know. you know what's going on in the vehicles, let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, okay. But so, uh, you you mentioned your religion. <laughs> What, yeah. what what religion exactly do you represent? I'm a santo. I do palo. So I'm a santo. What's that mean exactly? Like all that sacrifice and goats and all that shit. That shit not just for like. That, that's that's real life. You're you sacrificed a goat. <laughs> you seen that shit, bro? That's real life, bro. Really? I sacrifice goats, chickens, mice. Like I do shit for certain shit though. Like I, I'm not allowed to explain it. How you want me to explain it? I think how you want me to explain it, but. Yeah, well, I can do my research. That's interesting. It ain't even gonna you. You're not even gonna find it oh, like that. It's hard to Google. You could Google it, but it ain't gonna explain. It's it's like a it's it's. You could try to do these research though, and let me know what you find out though, bro. Oh, it's some Nigerian shit. Kwani <laughs> really a bitch. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could see him when it's just me and him one on one, bro. Like I wish I could see it, bro. bro you think you could have a fade and then be cool he's again? He's not gonna want to have no fade with me, uh -huh. bro. Stand up. I'm gonna give you a proposal. What's up? You set up one on one boxing match. What you do? He said he wants me to set up a boxing match. Bro, if you set up a one on one, and I don't even know how to fight, but I will beat his ass, bro. I only we we doing extra shit for him though, bro. That's drone though, cause he's not even one of them, bro. I'm about to pass him real fast, bro. Like, mm. <clears throat> bro, I would beat that little nigga ass, bro. He a whole turkey, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, Lord, where did I start? Um, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, next question, bro. Okay. <laughs> um, shit, I feel like that's that's pretty much like all the questions I had, honestly. That's it. Pretty much. All right. Well, I got some questions for you. Oh Lord, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> how you feel like when you? How, how did you feel when you put them speedos on, bro? I mean, it was way too tight. It was way too tight. Cause I borrowed it from the little gay dude. <laughs> oh shit, Michael Doherty. <laughs> I yeah. borrowed it. No, no diddy though, bro, but because that <laughs> shoe was a shirshy doodle. I really, I set the hood on fire when I did that photo <laughs> shoot, huh? Because everybody talking about that yeah, shit. Yeah, they in the comments talking about shrimp shit doodle, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that was fucked up when I seen that shit. I said, Adam, damn, what the fuck? See, I think I need to, like, make a song about not being gay. I don't know. Once you, once you put them Speedos on, though, no, bro. <laughs> They're not going to believe it. ain't it. no coming back, bro. Mm. It ain't no coming back, bro. I'm plotting mm. on my next move. Mm. You need a real good next move, bro. <laughs> you need a good one for that one, bro. <laughs> yeah, I might need a good move. Mm. You Fuck. need a good one, bro. So how many days are you sticking around? 
I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I just got my ticket out here, bro. I might not never go back to Philly, bro. What? No bullshit, to, bro. I thought you needed to stay on the block. Yeah, bro. I might. No, uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna go back once in the blue, bro, bro. But I'm trying to. I'm trying to just leave that shit, bro, and go back when I want to go back, bro. Only reason I'm gonna definitely go back because I got kids. Oh, really? How many kids? I got two. Okay. Bro. But I want my main mom to know. Okay. <laughs> so got a secret baby. She's going to find out. Mm. All right. Mm. Um, damn, but okay, what's the relationship with the baby mama, though? It's cool? You co-parenting? It's cool, but like, you know, all my life, I've been I've been making a lot of money, though. Like, all my life, like, I, like before rapping, I was trapping and I was making a lot of money. Like, mm. like when I say a lot of money, I mean a lot of money, though. Like, like I had money, money. Like, I get fried, too, on top of that, though. So, bro, like, if I didn't get fried, bro, I would have been millionaire. Like, I, I, I spent a lot of money. I spent four, five, six hundred dollars every day on getting high. Jesus Christ. Literally, bro. And, and then I'd be wondering why I don't look like, like that in my face, though. Because I don't look like I get... Like the way I get fired on my face, do I? Well, how old are you? I'm 24. Well, you still got plenty of time. Uh, you think it's gonna hit me later? I mean, you look cool now, but you know, being a 35 year old Jay, it could be a little more difficult to hold it together, right? Uh, Not well, that you're a Jay, but you know, you're on the spectrum. Damn. Well, I hope I don't make it there. <laughs> but fucking, uh, you know, I make a lot of bread, so I always like. I'm not gonna say I take care of her like where I'll go out splurging, buying a whole bunch of shit and all that type of shit though. But I actually take care like you know what I'm saying houses like the kid. Blah, blah, blah. She do a lot. Of shoes. She do a lot too though. Shout out to my baby mom. I love her. I love her to death though. That's my baby. Her. Right. I got her tatted on my face. I got it now on my face. I got her tatted on my neck and my arm twice. I got my. I got her tatted like that's my baby for real. Mm. I really love my baby mom, but I I made her comfortable with life. I want her to get back on her shit and like really like so like we could be compatible and really like go back and forth like we could be able to do certain things though right but I'm staying out here I'm letting her get on her shit while she out there and and she's cut in I come from the trenches but she come from the trenches too though so I want her to like get out of there where my kids could be like kind of like white kids too like hanging around you know what i'm saying though you want your kids to have a better life yeah yeah yeah, exactly so i might stay out here for a little i'm like i'm i'm not planning on leaving at all right i'm not planning on leaving at all do you think like this is the time like you 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 really got to keep your foot on the on the pedal right now because i feel like i've been falling off really yeah Mm. I feel like I'm falling off for the last two, three months. I've been, I've been feeling like I'm falling off. Well, you took that break from the drugs. Yeah. You think that was part of it? Yeah, I didn't take a break from drugs. I just took a break oh, from, from like, rapping. Right. Yeah. So, okay, my main question that I feel like we got to hit before we wrap the interview is basically like, can you imagine a version of yourself that is less into the drugs at the very least? Because I feel like you know, at some point, when I stop doing drugs, I'm I'm done rapping. I'm done. I'm a new person. Mm. Yeah, like when I stop when I stop doing drugs, I'm done rapping. I'm cutting my hair. I'm I'm a whole new person. Like I'm not reckless no more. That's almost kind of scary to realize that the music that I appreciate so much from you is kind of like directly tied to the drug shit, and that I want you to get to a better place with the drugs, but that that would also mean that we're not going to be hearing music from you. That's that's kind of a shame. Yeah, but no no time soon though. Okay. No time soon. At all. No time soon. No time soon. I feel like there's a, a a version of you that is still able to be productive musically without having to be on drugs every time. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. We're gonna figure it out. Who who your top five, who your top five rappers? Right rappers, now. Rappers, yeah. Jeez. I don't know. There's so many. Your top five. I've been listening to a lot of future. Mm-hmm. So future's number one right now. Mm-hmm. I gotta go to my my Apple Music because I, I want to give like a real answer of what I actually been listening to and not just like what I want to seem like I listen to. Yeah. Um. Shit. I'm gonna put Laser Dim on the fucking list because I uh, have been listening to him a bit, even though his shit. If I listen to it long enough, it starts to hurt my head. Uh. But shout out to Laser Dim. I'm a big fan. Quando Rondo. I fuck with Quando Rondo tough. I fuck with all his ops a lot. I, I fuck with Quando, I fuck with Quando Rondo before. I, I liked it. I loved the Quando Rondo before he got on when he started rapping like NBA Youngboy. Mm. You know, a lot of his shit sound like Youngboy. Early now. shit, you kind of yeah, like better. He was the best. That, yeah, if Quando Rondo stayed on that, 
he'd probably be in the top ten in the rap era mm. right now, though, bro. I, I want I want that old Quando back, though, bro. I really fuck with Quando Rondo. I want that old Quando Rondo back. Yeah, interesting. But Quando Rondo hard, though. I fuck with Quando Rondo. I'm going to let him know. You know mm-hmm. who I've been listening to? Big 30. Big 30, yeah. I fuck with Big 30. For a while, I was like, I liked Pusha T so much that I wasn't really trying to listen to Big 30, and now somehow I've just become a legitimate Big 30 fan. So that's kind of new development. Mm-hmm. And uh, shit, I don't know. I don't even know how many I named. Oh, there's a rapper named Treyway from out here that I fuck with too, but he's been locked up for a little bit. Treyway, yeah, one more. Shh. We gotta go out here too. Who I've been listening to lately? Well, I also I really fuck with MAF Tiski too, so I'm gonna put him on the list. MAF Tiski, yeah, yeah, I fuck with MAF. Yeah, I gotta open Oops. up. I gotta open verse that I ain't never do from him yet. Right, because you guys rap on a lot of the same types of mm-hmm. beats. I feel like you guys would sound very natural together. Yeah. Hey yo, shout out to my dog Lil Shimmy. Lil Shimmy, you know Lil Shimmy? Nah. You don't know who Lil Shimmy is? I gotta get tapped into Lil Shimmy. Yo, shout out to my dog Lil Shimmy though. He from Florida. Okay. He hard as shit. Lil Shimmy, I'm gonna get on yeah, that Yeah, he from Zombie Land too. That's crazy because I could tell that you're a real rap fan because you yeah. got hella underground artists from all different parts of the country. Yeah, me and Lil Shimmy just dropped the video. I ain't gonna lie, he got off on me on that song though. He ran me though. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's your most off. recent video? Then yeah. I guess I have seen him because yeah. I watched all the recent yeah, shit. Yeah, he got off on me though, though. I gotta get my get back though. Mm. Lil Shimmy, uh, Fucking, I'm gonna tell you my top five too. Lil Shimmy, All I Run, mm. and I ain't gonna fuck. I fuck with I fuck I fuck with Playboy Cardi too, but they you know they beef with All I Run, right? But I fuck with All I Run more though, so fuck Playboy Cardi. <laughs> you um, don't want to sign the Opium? I feel like that'd be a good fit. <laughs> Are they on some fake dark shit? You want some real dark shit? I want some that shit though, but I fuck with Playboy Cardi though for real. For real. Really? But fucking, I fuck with All I though. I fuck. I've been fucking with All I for a minute, mm. and um, so I'm, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna put my dog uh, YBC Duel. Mm. IBC dude. I got him on my list to check out after this, yeah. Yeah, um, fucking, um, yeah, you know, Future, of course. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, Kodak, of course, Kodak. Always Kodak. Kodak. Yeah, Kodak Black, that's my favorite artist out of everybody. That hurt you when he worked with 6 9 Kodak is Kodak. I'm, I'm <laughs> rocking out. Wants. I'm rocking out with whatever Kodak do. That's really my. That's really like my favorite artist of the world. No, no Diddy though. Like, but I Kodak feel like was. if you and Kodak met, that it would be like an instant connection, and that you would probably yeah. be sniper ganged out. Yeah, so I already right. know. I already know. Kodak, Kodak, know who I am. Know like we talked before on okay. Instagram. He like my shit. He sent me high emoji. Like me and Kodak had like a little small little conversation and shit. He might be able to go toe to toe with you with the drugs. Yeah, I, I don't like know. He seems like he's pretty talented know. in that regard. I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. He's been practicing for a while. I get the idea. Um, Shit, all right. Uh, uh, I'm going to give you one more. Uh, uh, one more. One more, Ralphie. Uh, and shout out my boy, Reese Youngin. Reese Youngin. Mm. Reese Youngin. Let me add one more too. Reese Youngin. Reese Youngin. You know Reese Youngin? No, I gotta check him out. Yeah, check Reese Youngin. Okay. Reese Youngin. Check one more. One more. One more. Who, Lil Tyler? Yeah, Lil, Lil Tyler. Tyler. Lil Tyler definitely. Yeah. He doing his thing. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Lil Tyler. That's my dog. Lil mm-hmm. Tyler and Shorty Shorty. You fuck with Shorty Shorty. Yeah. Dope. Shorty Shorty. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Shout out Lil Tyler. Lil Tyler. Yeah, me and him got to do some shit for sure. I think I did the first Shorty Shorty interview ever. Yeah. Quite possibly. Mm. Me and Lil Tyler got to do some shit. I'm on his ass. Yeah. I, he been sent me some beats. I was on some bullshit though. I'm going out Florida after I leave from out here. I'm going to Florida though. I'm doing some shit with Lil Tyler. Yeah, shout and shout, out Lucky and Oh, yeah, V's. shout out my dog Lucky and V's, too. Yeah, mm. Lucky. Lucky, that's my brother, bro. That's really my Gemini twin. Mm. Lucky, that's my dog. I'm out here for Lucky and G Herbo. Oh, really? You doing yeah. some shit with Lucky, too? Yeah, I'm, every time I come out here, I'm with Lucky and G Herbo and Mainski. Lucky, Those my boy. Mainski. He's been saying he's going to come kick it on the podcast sometime. He just made me promise not to interview him. He's yeah. like, I'll come hang out, but you can't interview me. Yeah. So, that's a little tricky. Yeah. But for sure, man. Yeah, I appreciate you coming on the pod. Love the music. I'm hoping you uh, can kind of clean your act up a little bit just because I'm a little worried that that tank was really getting abused throughout this episode. 
Right. But you know, everybody, everybody's yeah. at a certain step in their journey. You know. Yeah. Now this was a good joint. You think though? Oh, fire! Legendary. You think this shit gonna go up? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely going up. Uh, shout out to Skrilla. Everybody, turn him up if you ain't already. Add many of his songs to your playlists and whatnot. What's the upside down thumbs? What's that? I'm the biggest dropper of all times. Oh shit! So you drop your thumb. Drop your thumb. No, I don't gang bang. I'm the biggest dropper. This is not no gang bang. I'm the biggest dropper of all time. I feel like you're dissing somebody. <laughs> biggest dropper of all times. Nah, I'm here. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I've learned when the rappers tell me to throw up a weird hand sign, just don't do it. Don't do it. Because it probably means, ha ha, so and so got killed or something. I don't know. Ugh. I don't trust none of you rappers. But uh, shout out to my man Skrilla. Appreciate you coming through, man. There's big <clears throat> things to come. I'm a believer. Shout out to Ralphie the Pup. He's a good dog. Uh, appreciate you, man. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Kids, don't do drugs, but definitely like, comment, and subscribe. No Jumper.com if you want to support. Bow.